Swimming World TV here with Linnea Mack from Osprey Aquatics, one of our studs so far here at Far Westerns. Let's rewind to yesterday. You were a double event winner in that 100 freestyle and 100 butterfly. So let's talk about your race strategy going into the night, knowing you had two events that you were the top seed in one and second to top going into. Um, I would say me and my coach just did what we always do before a race. We went through the process and thought about what we wanted to see for myself on each lap and just kind of took myself through the race beforehand. Well, you were very strong in the 100 free. You were a 51-6, I believe. Mm -hmm. Now, was that, did it get you pumped up for your 100 fly, already having a victory under your belt? Yeah, that definitely helped, and I just kind of thought about what we always do in practice is we get tired before and then go into the next set and ready to just expect to go fast every single time, so I just thought about that. So your 100 free was a good warm-up for your 100 yeah. fly? Great. Well, let's go into that 100 butterfly. We mentioned in the broadcast, we pointed out your underwaters. They were really great. A lot of distance off that wall. So is that something you like to focus on in the butterfly? Yeah, we really plan my race off of that, and we train a lot of that in practice. So you do a lot of sets, and I always try and get like 12 kicks off all my fly and backstroke in practice. So I'm just ready for that in the race. What type of underwater sets do you guys like to focus on? Um, we do a lot of 25s underwater, and like one of my favorite ones that we did was 625s underwater on 25 seconds with no assistance. So it's just kind of great ready. set. Yeah, definitely get you going. Well, let's also talk because speaking to your coach, you don't do a whole lot of butterfly training, but a 55. Seven, I believe, is very, very fast for a 15-year-old. So what types of strokes do you focus on in practice? Uh, we mostly do freestyle and backstroke. And whenever I can, I always try and go fly. So I've been doing more fly this training cycle than I have before. So this is definitely getting better. And before your hunter freestyle, there was a, um, a pause before the starter block yeah. because due to some tape on your shoulder. So let's talk about that. The officials held up the race because you had some tape. What was going on there? Um, well, I have a tape on my shoulder because I have hypermobility in my shoulder. But we just, we talked to the officials beforehand, but I guess they didn't really like register that or something. So he just came over and told me I couldn't be wearing it, but I just told them we've already talked to him, so it was no big deal. How long have you been using the tape for healing? Um, I've been using tape for two years, and I've had kind of shoulder, ongoing shoulder problems since I was 12, so for like four years almost. But we're, it's getting better, so i be able to train a lot more. All right, and looking forward to today, you have the 100 backstroke still to go, which is one of your favorite events, correct? Yeah. All right, so what are you looking forward to doing the 100 back coming up shortly? Um, just go out and race, do my best, but just work on executing how I want to execute at CCS and just, just go out and race. Well, let's rewind real quick to last year as a 14-year-old. You broke Natalie Coughlin's record. Yeah. That must have been a great feeling. Yeah, it was, it was really great. Just everything I'd been training for and just in that one race. And it was really nice to beat that and really look up to her. So it's it a good race. Good footsteps to follow. And you just yeah. mentioned CCS. You're actually not tapered here at Far Westerns. No. What meet are, or let's fully name that meet you're tapering for coming up here. It's sure. this. Central, Central Coast section, I think. Section. Oh, CIF. CIF. Yeah. So you're not fully tapered here. How is that going into your races? Or or more so, let's talk about what you're looking forward to doing that upcoming race. Especially um, in the Hunter Butterfly. We know you have some great goals set. Yeah, so I just want to get as close to those times that I want to go at CCS here while I'm not tapered. And so that just gets me that much more confident going into CCS. So I'm able to just get my pattern down and then at CCS I'll just have more energy and faster suit and be it. Right. Well, you have two victories under your belt so far and we look forward to your Hunter Backstroke to go today. Thank you. Thank you.